Hello everyone, Princess Megabyte back again and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Fusion aka TV add-ons to Cordy. So we're going to scroll over to System and underneath that click on File Manager. Once in here, click on Add Source and you're going to type in this address which I'm going to put on the screen for you right now. Okay, I'm going to type in the address which is http colon double forward slash fusion dot tv addons dot ag. Once you've done that, click on done and name the folder fusion or you can call it anything you want as long as you recognize it doesn't matter and then click OK and go back to the home screen okay from here we're gonna open the system menu up and we're gonna open the add-ons menu up and we're going to go to install from a zip file and open up the Fusion folder we just made. From here you want to open the Start Here folder up. On this screen you want to go to the bottom file and open it which says plugin.video.hubwizard. Once that's done go back to your home screen. And once on your home screen, head over to Programs and we're going to open up the Config Wizard. I think common sense will tell you what you need to do on this screen. Whatever device you're using, whether it's a Windows computer or an Amazon Fire TV or an Apple TV, or even a Mac, you have to choose that one. As I'm on a Windows computer, I'm going to pick the Windows option. And you simply say yes, you do want to install and leave it download and do its thing. It won't take very long. I haven't installed this on an Android device or a Fire TV, so I don't know what message you will get at the end of this. If it tells you to pull out the plug, then that's what you'll have to do. Because I know on the Who's M Wizard, you have to do that. I don't know if you noticed there, but the background has just changed. And as you can see, all the popular add-ons are already installed, like Genesis, Ice Films, and PrimeWire, and Phoenix. And you go over to Programs, we got Navi, Add-on Installer, Maintenance Tool, which you can use to change the wallpaper if you don't like it. But I'm not going to be covering that in this video. Maybe I'll make a video explaining how to do that another time. But there you go folks, if you follow this video correctly and your TV add-ons looks exactly like mine then have fun and thanks for watching.